hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel your stars align this is Carmina Vedic astrologer and card reader with the cards of truth so today I was thinking to show you guys how to do how to cast a light on a star spread right because some of you were asking that in the comments but before I'm gonna show you that I just want to make a short announcement uh, on Friday, March 16, I'm going to be uh, hosting a webinar together with a colleague of mine, Levi Kosin. And we're going to be doing a webinar on uh, relationship capacity factors, right? So it's like a pre-compatibility webinar to see like um, what astrological factors uh, in your chart contribute or maybe hindering your capacity to have like a fulfilling relationship right and we're going to be looking at some ancient yogas we're going to be looking at some uh, Jaimini factors uh, we're also going to be looking at uh, uh, you know uh, Rahu and Ketu because they are always important you know they're like the axis of fate <laughs> And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be very interesting. I'm going to post a link down below to, so that you guys can uh, you know, join this webinar if you want. It's going to take three hours and we're going to be looking at your charts interactively, okay? Okay, so that we have already said that. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, cast a light on the star spread. Uh, what exactly is a light on a star spread? Well, uh, it corresponds to, you know, Prashna or Hori in astrology, right? Because you ask one question and the cards like show you, you know, what uh, they, there's a card that describes your question. There's a card that describes the present situation, the future, uh, and another card, the most important one, that says what you should do to get the best possible outcome in this situation and also uh, there is a card that shows what factors goes, go against you and what factors go in your favor right in this um, in this situation and uh, also of course the last card is the outcome and uh, the validity of this card spread is within a year, right? So if you cast like a light on the star spread, uh, these results will come about, everything will, you know, unravel within a year. So I think it's very interesting. I use this spread like very, very often and I get amazing results with it, you know. Uh, also, what you will see with this card spread is that, you know, you get... Um, you get, um, you know, somebody asks you a question, but they don't really ask what they really mean, right? So they can ask about career, but actually this spread can show that they have like an underlying relationship problem. So that's actually the real problem. But because, you know, they are so involved in the situation, they can't really see it. But this is like really a quick and easy way to go like straight to the heart of the matter right and I use this light on the star spread with uh, Ernst's you know uh, Ernst Wilhelm's principles you know that he describes in his cards of truth classes okay so right now I'm gonna be casting a spread for the first time it's it's like uh, somebody contacted me for a reading and they were kind of like all over the place. They uh, were asking like several questions and it was hard for me, you know, to follow what exactly they wanted from me. So I'm going to just cast the card spread and see like what their main concern is. I do that, you know, all the time and it proves very insightful because it helps me, you know, focus my attention to give the client the advice they need, right? Because, you know, when you go to an astrologer, you have to be open and receptive to an astrologer or a card reader because, you know, they tune into their intuition and you get the answer that you need, not the answer that you think you need, right? Because if you knew yourself so much and your life was so organized, you wouldn't need an astrologer, right? 
Okay. So, I'm going to start casting the spread. The first card that you cast, so don't cast reverse, right? Look at me, I'm casting and I'm just turning it around, you know? It's not just, it's not that way, right? You have to just fl flip it, not reverse it, right? Okay, so the first card describes the situation. So this person is really, she really wants to make some lasting changes and she really has to let go of a lot of patterns and behaviors in her life that didn't really serve her well until now. The second card is the present situation. That is like a ten of clubs. So uh, this person is making a lot of efforts to be on top of their you know to pursue their inspiration right because clubs are about inspiration ideas they're about career but um, you know it's like a career that you do because you like not a career that you do to get money like a diamond would be right so a ten of clubs is like you you try like to be really at the top of your inspiration game but it's gonna be like really really taxing right um, after I, I cast the full spread, I'm going to take a picture and show you guys so you can see the order, right? Okay, so, so yeah, so the tens, the, the black tens, you know, in card spreads, they're like uh, the magician in the arcana card, right? So they have to pull every trick up their sleeve, right? They're going to have to make great efforts to pursue their inspiration. And let's see the future, what the future holds. Hmm. This is a reverse king of hearts, right? Uh, so normally a king of hearts would be like, okay, you need to make emotional sacrifices. But um, a reverse king of hearts is like, no, don't make emotional sacrifices. It can also be, you know, a king of hearts can be a man in your life. And if it's reverse, like you can like break off a relationship with a man in your life. The next card is what this person should do. Okay, so what she should do is a two of diamonds, right? So she should like really come together with a skill or come together with a financial source, something that would provide her uh, financial results, right? Uh, so the two of uh, the ace of Diamonds would be like, okay, the, the new potential for something concrete. And the two of diamonds is also, you know, coming together with something concrete, right? So like being in a dance with it. It's like dancing with your skill, being in a couple with your skill, right? In a relationship with your skill. Um, the two of diamonds is a financial card. It can also be a card where you can like move somewhere, you know. Uh, but... Yeah, so coming together with a skill, coming together with a source of money or moving somewhere. So that's what this per person should do. Let's see what goes against her. Hmm, this is a four of spades. Okay, so you know, sometimes uh, good cards get into, you know, bad places. Like what does that mean exactly? Okay, when you have a four of spades in the... Um, uh, in the against you card it's like okay so like you reaching for your for some security and stability within yourself you know uh, may actually hinder you right so um, you know like you looking for being secure and stable with your health or like psychically like psychologically is actually going against you so this should do card you know um i guess it's like more difficult you know to achieve it's not like really smooth it's gonna have to have the person you know not like renounce some of her stability and let's see what what goes for this person hmm it's another 10 it's a reverse 10 of spades okay the the 10 of spades is similar in meaning as the ten of clubs because they they're both black tens and they both evoke like the magician right so you know the um, the reverse ten of 
um, the reverse ten of spades going for her is like okay so she she's not achieving at the moment you know everything that she wants with her uh, physical self and also with her psychological self so probably this uh, discontent is going to push her to follow the two of diamonds what she needs to do at the moment and the finally last but not least <laughs> it's the outcome card right so the outcome card uh, is not um, a very comfortable card because it's the queen of spades reversed right and if you watched my previous videos, coincidentally, we talked about the queens. And um, a queen of spades reverses an outcome is that, you know, she's going to be, uh, she's going to become lazy and she's not really uh, going to really make the effort, you know, to pursue her self-reliance path, right? And so like the best thing that she can do in this situation is this like the two of diamonds so like follow a financial opportunity right that she has at the moment come together with some financial gain yeah you know it's like that you know sometimes the outcome is not a positive card but uh, uh, it's great that we have this should do card right which shows you know it's like the best you can do under the circumstances and right now I'm just gonna take the camera and you know show you yeah this is the situation wait come on okay so this is the situation this is the first card this is the the second card I cast you know the the present this is the future this is the fourth card this is like what you sh what you should do this is the fifth card what goes against you and the sixth card that goes for you and the outcome is the last card so this is what a light on a star spread looks like you know you can ask you know all sorts of questions you can ask what's my relationship with this person gonna be for the next year uh, you know like what's gonna happen job wise am I gonna have the inspiration to do this you know but uh, also like you have to not abuse the cards and not ask the same question 10 times right because it's not fair you know you have to accept the the first answer that is given to you um and what else i wanted to tell you guys and also like if you have a client or if you have for yourself you know like several questions and you want to do like several card spreads with different questions first i recommend that you do the four stack cut right so if you know like your birth card, this is how you do the stack card, um, you for you or a client. If you know the birth card, you divide, you know, the deck in four, I mean, try to make them like equal parts. You know, so this is the first stack, the second stack, the third stack and the fourth stack. So you have four stacks and you have to look inside the, the each of the stacks you know the first stack signifies the space the second stack signifies the hearts the third stack is uh, the clubs and the fourth the diamonds so you have to see if uh, the question that was asked you know uh, relates to the stack so if you find like the birth card of the person in the relevant stack so for instance let me find my okay so my birth card is in the spade stack so i guess i'm more um concerned with spades i even have like a spade like a leaf pin so <laughs> today's episode is brought to you by spades so yeah if if the birth card of the person is in the first stack you know they're more concerned with self-development or health if it's in the second stack they're more concerned with financial with the emotional issues with relationships with popularity if it's in the third stack they're more concerned with pursuing their inspiration their career and if it's in the fourth stack they're more concerned with like concrete things like developing a concrete skill with money with real estate you know things like that things of that nature 
and also if you don't know your birth card or the person's birth card you can just you know uh, assign a card in your head like before you do the four stack so if you have like a man in front of you who's like a very like an university professor you can say okay he's a king of clubs and you look for the king of clubs in the four stack so so that you do the reading you know with that stack yes yeah, so that's about it guys that's an example on how to do a light on a star spread and also how to divide the the cards in four stacks and uh, ask them permission if you know if you should uh, ask further questions or not uh, don't forget to check out my website uh, yourstarsalign.com uh, there is a lot of sections there with some articles that I wrote on cards and astrology there's also a reading uh, section with the, all the services that I offer I've also started to offer tutoring recently on cards of truth or uh, you know astrology and as I was saying I will be doing uh, a webinar with my colleague Vedic astrologer Levi Kosin uh, we're gonna be talking about compatibility live with you guys looking at your charts for three hours on March 16 on a Friday a Venusian day very appropriate for relationship talk right and also if you're interested in Jaimini techniques you can check out my book my study on musicians charts and I'm gonna post all these links below I'll see you guys soon and I'll be back making new videos soon. Bye!